Hey guys, we made it to the lounge. It's a lot bigger than the one in SF. That Mabuhai lounge. It's a lot bigger, but uh, we're about to go eat because we haven't had anything to eat yet. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Are you gonna let your hair loose now? No, because I don't know if I have to go to the bridge or not. Oh, uh, okay. Let me go give him a tour of the lounge. Here they have fruits, little desserts. And then you just start your line at the end and kind of work your way down. Drinks. You could toast bread if you wanted to. Then food's over there. But these two people are in my way, so I'm going to cut through them. <laughs> so we're eating in the Mabuhai Lounge now. Just reading our breakfast, basically. It's still like 6 o'clock. Does it say 6 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's 6 in the morning and our flight's not until 8.55. So this is what we're eating. We have like a little chicken teriyaki thing. I put a sado sauce on top. Pork sh shomai. And I put soy sauce on top. Gyoza. I put chili sauce on top. And this one is said corned beef pandasal. And then Gene just got toast. We got the same, but he just added toast. The highlights of this part is actually we get soup. Mm -hmm. And the soup is actually really good. She got shrimp. I got beef. You can't tell because I finished it. The beef was really nice and soft. And the shrimp, how's the shrimp? It's good. It's like a wonton, like a shrimp wonton soup. But the shrimp is loose. It's not really a wonton. So I guess yeah. it's just a shrimp noodle soup. Yeah, so it's, it's all good. By the way, there was this dude and he was like touching things with his hands. Like you know how they have like a spoon for you to scoop things up? Well he legit just grabbed things, touched them, felt them, and then left it for the next person. And that's super gross. <laughs> so we were like, okay, we're not eating this anymore. So yeah, and then there's Alphonse. I'm watching Smash. <laughs> He's watching Smash. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's it. We're, we're hopefully gonna well, we still got a couple hours until we fly out, but just wanted to share that the food here, the soup just made it better. I really like soup. But, I mean, we're about to go to Tokyo, and Tokyo has, like, really good soup. The options are limited, but it's okay. Just for, like, a little snack room. You don't want, like, a full meal or anything. Just for a little snack room. Yeah? Yeah, you don't want to eat too much, especially since we're going to Tokyo. True. So yeah, we're gonna go eat, board, and I'll see you in Japan. Look at your vlogger. She's asleep when we're about to go on a plane where she could sleep properly. So this is the business class menu. And they use this menu for both trips. It's like the little intro, but over here. It says right here, Manila to Haneda, and you get to choose either the Japanese meal or the Western meal. Yes, I chose the Western meal, like, and I chose the beef apricot red wine sauce because Jean got the Atlantic cod caprice. And then this menu is Haneda to Manila. It's the same concept. You choose between the Japanese menu or the hot meal menu. The Japanese menu. I think on the way, way back, I think we're gonna get the Japanese menu because it, it looks more appealing. And then this is the Western menu. Coming back. And this is the Airbus that we're on. Airbus 330-300. The seatbelts here are also different because the one in Philippine Airlines coming from SFO, they have a lap seatbelt. <laughs> they have a lap seatbelt, but these actually have a shoulder, cross, cross shoulder seatbelt. And I'm so used to these. The lap one's more comfy because it's like, it's a longer flight, so I guess they put the lap one for comfortability. 
I don't know, but I thought it was interesting how it's a cross shoulder rather than a lap table. The layout also for this Airbus is different than the Boeing airplane coming from SFO to Manila. This one, their business class seating arrangement goes by one to one. And then the SFO to Manila goes by two, two three, two. So it's slightly smaller, but look at the chair. I feel like I'm in a spaceship. <laughs> like. There's a little cubby where they give us slippers, a headset. And that's where all the buttons are, the controller to go with the TV. Some outlets. A little mini lamp. Oh, with three different lightings. And then the seat where you could go all the way back to lay down if you wanted to. And then we're leg up. Oh. Let's see. Here we're this, going. The seat belts are also different. Like I know. I, I, I told them. Yeah. There's Alphonse in the solo chair. Jean and I on these two chairs. Naomi's there in the solo chair. There's Nicole in the solo chair. My parents are right behind me. <laughs> My mom has a mask. And I'm not gonna keep. Sorry, it's not auto -focus. I'm not gonna keep my braids in. I'm only gonna keep them in for now because I might fall asleep on the plane. And I don't wanna get like super fizzy. And I also kept it in braids because outside of Philippine weather, my hair becomes like a whoosh. Like freaking like broom hair. We just finished changing the money and now we're going towards the train station. We're ditching you. Nicole's our guide, but she doesn't remember too much, so we're gonna wing it once we get to the train station. Sunderine has found her first vending machine. There it is. Looks like this is just a regular. It's like a pay card. Yeah. It looks like this vending machine just kind of has like energy yeah. drinks, teas. Hot drinks, like yeah. cold drinks. Yeah. Come on, come on. We it. We're not gonna buy. Here we are at the scramble, where everybody just walks. Everything turns green, and the cop. The, the car stop, the cops. Uh, I guess we're gonna head over there. For an umbrella. Uh, okay. Nari wants an umbrella. We all need an umbrella. We're literally huh? you can tell we're tourists because we're the only ones without an umbrella. Sorry, he's all zoomed in. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So this is the line to go and take a picture with Hachiko. If you guys don't know, Hachiko is the is the pup that waited for its owner and never left. So this is his famous spot right here. And if you if you rub Hachiko, you're supposed to have good luck. Like you're supposed to rub him and you'll you'll get good luck. This is the line to see him though. Right there. And we're not about to stand in line because we are limited on time. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying to go to Akihabara. Yeah, we're trying to go to Akihabara to buy stuff, so we're gonna go now. 
We are here at Akihabara, the place with all the animes. Where's my girlfriend? There she is. Oh, there's father. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go shop for some toys. So our first stop was to go into these little crane machines, and we're trying to find something we can buy. So far, nothing's gotten my appeal yet. There she is. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't have time. Hey, Narini Days is gonna try to win a Luna with the coins we just purchased. Oh, it's not strong enough. Okay, let's move on to that. So we're one hour early from check-in and this is in the airport. We're at the Haneda airport. Like so nice. They're fake obviously but fake trees but the lighting is so nice. This display has all these little plate figures. Air France, Air China. Like this one's Star Wars. So if you buy a plate, we could make a wish. And we put it on the wish wall. <laughs> So we bought one. These are the little pieces of, uh, I guess, wishing wish, 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 wishing blocks. And then on the back is actually a Haneda airline ticket. 